Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome to the Cult of Vintage. As you can see behind me, maybe, I don't know, is we are at Goodwill. We are in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Triggered. Um, we're going to get inside you guys, see what we can't find. Uh, it's the end of the month. It's end of month shopping. It's end of month sales. It's beginning of month sales. Um, and you know, I think it's important and I'm going to be open and honest with you guys right now is in the reselling game. What I have found is just like any retail business, there are certain periods of the month as well as months throughout the year that, um, you know, people are maybe a little bit more conservative, bills are due. Uh, so, you know, you have to be mindful of that. You still want to get good stuff. You kind of got to be very smart about the things that you're buying. Uh, you try to buy as low as possible for as high of a profit as you can. And um, you just have to keep in mind the economy, food costs. I was at the grocery store the other day and I kid you not, I think I got about five, maybe six bags and it costs $150. So, you know, those are all very real concerns for everybody. I still have to sell stuff. That's what I do. So uh, hopefully we can find some good stuff, low cost, high profit. Here's a hoping. Let's do it. Now it is a larger Goodwill, thankfully. So we stand a better chance of getting some stuff in here. It's not always a guarantee, but we'll try her out. Uh, I think what we'll also do is, there's a small American Rescue Workers, it's a regional thrift store. Ooh. Here we go, guys. Alright guys, let's start here at the front, at the jewelry counter. Uh, I kind of want to check it out. I, you know, I found some good pieces in this jewelry before, and I see some things immediately. First off, of course, is that Sarah Coventry little strawberry right there. I'm kind of pointing to it, and I do see a little enamel leaf right beside it, so I'm quite curious about that. Seeing another piece in there, kind of like that amber-colored uh, brooch, the flower there. I'm also seeing a little enameled bat in the back. He's cute. Kind of curious about him. We do have some holiday jewelry here, of course. I'm not really seeing anything of interest. These are the pieces that I've gotten very pleased with it. Um, that sunflower actually is Sarah Coventry. Uh, the enamel flower there, the purple one is BSK. Uh, love the owl, the two little glittery <laughs> insects. I'll probably sell those as a set. So pleased with that. Here is that, that BSK. I think it's pretty. I think I'm going to sell the apple and the leaf together. I think they make a great combination. I'm going to put the two insects together. All right, this is what we're all here for, right? It is the holiday shopping at uh, Goodwill. Now, I'm really surprised at how much stuff they gathered together um, for Halloween, uh, of course, for the fall season. There is a lot to go through. It's feeling a little overwhelmed. I'm seeing a lot of kind of craft items, the wreaths and the, the synthetic florals. Not exactly what we're looking for, but I do spot this right up top. <laughs> It's a beautiful art glass pumpkin. It is in an amber, amberina, pardon me, glass with the crackle effect. It is $9.99. I was a little like, Ugh. but that black applied vine. Oh, I love that color combination. Um, it's very high end in look and feel. I'm looking for any chips or cracks. Don't see any that are present. It's got some great weight on it. Uh, you know what? I think we're going to go ahead and get it. I know it looks like I'm putting it back on the shelf. Don't worry. We do get it. I just want to peruse here, as I typically like to do. Oh, I'm spotting some things that we do end up picking up later on in the video here. Little plush cat, that boss cops, that B. It's a local or a regional, I guess I should say, department store. Cute little plush ghosty here. Seeing maybe if that was like a Hallmark or a name brand item. Didn't appear to be. Um, so I do end up leaving him behind. It is aesthetically really cute. I don't know. I maybe should have got that. It was only $4. Kind of maybe regret that one. Little electronic simmering potpourri pot. Mm, no, not so much. Cute little metal witch here. Looks very much like the mayor from Nightmare Before Christmas. Cute, but... Mm, not exactly the aesthetics that I'm going for. Let's see what else we can find. Little bisque angel girl here. Oh, she's chipped. 
It is Helmco, probably 80s, maybe early 90s, perhaps. But with that damage there on the wing, I do leave it behind. Little molded wax candle here with her witch and cat. Again, I don't really like it that much. Mm. Yeah, not seeing a whole lot of anything else. Kind of like 90s, early 2000s. I do spot this little plush cat here. Now, he is bean filled, so he's got some good weight on him. Uh, trying to see again if it's a major manufacturer or anything like that. They haven't priced it six dollars. Um, he's in really good condition. I love the the aesthetic value of him. Um, I think I am going to go ahead and pick him up. I know it looks like I'm setting him back. But don't you worry. We're going to get him. Uh, no, not so much. I don't want a lotion ghost pump. That kind of freaked me out a little bit. It was a little disturbing. All right. So again, we did get the plush cat. We've got the art glass pumpkin here, and of course, we got a shopping cart. I did find this cute little box here. Um, you know, it's nothing fancy or anything like that. I think it's absolutely ador adorable. It's two dollars. I'm gonna go ahead and get this. I probably will use it as like a giveaway or, or a freebie. Um, I just think it's really cute, and I think somebody will definitely get get a good look out of that. All right, we're going to move forward from the Halloween slash fall aisle, and I would just want to take a quick look at anything else that we can find. First thing that I do see is this Amberina decanter here. Now, or pardon me, Brandy Sniffner, not decanter. They were priced at $5. I don't think that's the worst price. I don't think it's Empoli. I've never known Empoli to use such thick stems. There is some weird, weird. there's also like some bubbling to where it's applied. I'm seeing quite a few air bubbles, pretty pretty significant air bubbles. That's not necessarily um, unheard of in, in Poli. I'm not seeing the little rivets, but then I do see at the top a chip to the glass. So I do stick that one behind. Now this Goodwill does not color code anything. I'm very used to a lot of Goodwills kind of putting things together by colors, um, but it's a hodgepodge of things. They put kind of like the tchotchkes or the knickknacks together and then just go from there. Cute little ceramic bunny and a pink hat. It's cute, but no, not so much. That made me nervous. So I said, <laughs> I was like, no, I'm not going to set that back there. There is a lot to choose from. Um, obviously, the shelves are very full. However, it's the quality of the items. I'm not really seeing anything of value. Uh, so yeah, it's just kind of one of those. Sh There's an empty styrofoam cup. That was pleasant. Um, <laughs> Why not? It's a dollar ninety nine here at Goodwill. <laughs> oh goodness! Down another aisle here again. You're seeing these shelves are super full. There, I do see that little boy in the blue, and of course the little the little gnome here. Contemporary pieces, not what I'm going for. I do see this little uh, bisque baby. It's based off of like a German sculptural piece. It, the weight is not correct on it, and there is some damage to it. He's missing the little end of his little gun, so I do set set him back. Uh, seems like it was like a mold that was used and made and manufactured then uh, in Japan. So no, not so much. Some standard kind of florist bases, not really doing anything for me. Uh, I do move on, of course, to the Christmas aisle. Again, it's an extensive aisle, and it is jam packed full of items, but unfortunately, I'm not really seeing anything that I'm looking for. Cute little Santa here, again, kind of like 90s, 95 through about the early 2000s. Cute, but not cute enough for me. A lot of the mugs you're going to find in here too, again, just simply not what, what I am looking for. These, they look like Holt Howard. I mean, I immediately knew being in that plastic acrylic box that they were not. Turns out they're actually from the Dollar General. Uh, that's interesting. But again, a great Holt Howard look. So if you are holiday shopping on a budget and you like the aesthetic of it, hey, why not? Cute little bisque Frosty here. Mm, no, 80s, made in Taiwan. It's vintage, but just not really doing it for me. Cute little um, ceramic crush here. Mm, not so much. Got to peek behind those signs, make sure that there's nothing hiding in there. Again, you're seeing signs that say no discount on the holiday. Little Kmart, poor Kmart. Wax candles here. Cute, but mm, no. <laughs> uh, 
uh, and it, that's, you know, again, it's not to say that there's not value. Do I think that I could make some dollars on those candles? Yeah, absolutely. Um, but just trying to keep it maybe a little bit nicer. All right, we've moved back to the fall. And I did find this, it's the House of Louis, the Thanksgiving centerpiece set in its original box. I do bust it out here. We've got the original candles, of course, the little ceramic turkey with the two little taper candle holders. I think it's an adorable little set. It's only $3. Condition is really good. I definitely see the value uh, in here. So we're going to go ahead and pick up the little set here. Alrighty, our next item is this kind of like arts and crafts, a little wicker basket here really good condition i like the aesthetic value on this you could certainly tuck some things in there stand it up it is priced eight dollars though we do think that there is more value on it um, i also found this little hobbyist ceramic turkey i think the paint application on this is absolutely fantastic it's only three dollars i'm not overly excited if i'm going to be honest with you about the turkey sculpts but it's the paint work that really drew me to this piece cute little trinket box so I do go ahead and pick that up so our cart is quickly filling up here I'm such a youtuber notice how I displayed everything because like I was going to try to use that as a thumbnail but <laughs> you already know I did not so we're gonna add some more stuff check out this sign it's absolutely amazing uh, it is like a laminated wood. It's about mm, a quarter of an inch thick. Great condition. Amazing antique imagery that is placed on there. Definitely want to snatch that up. Now, this is the Eureka Paper Company. It's a little like the Bistel with the honeycomb a pumpkin on the back. It's only 99 cents. I think it's absolutely adorable. So, yeah, we're going to add that to the basket for sure. Now, that sign was buried. Um, and then I saw this Avon gift collection. I knew what was in there, but I got distracted by kind of rooting through everything here. These are really cute, these little package toppers. Um, I kind of debated about getting them for my shipping for like, again, little package toppers. I do have other Halloween related ones. Um, so I do leave these ones behind because it's just, it's a lot of stuff to store. <laughs> Uh, they were cute. I don't know. I probably kind of got them. I'm looking at them again, and I'm like, oh, you should have got those. Some nail decals, just stuff, and it's empty. That stinks. It's a little wicker basket with a jack-o'-lantern cloth wrap on it. Now, we do find a whole bunch of these vintage light covers. They're kind of like little acrylic blow molds. I think that they're super cute. I'm going to sell these as a lot. I'm going to group them all together. Um, I think they'd be really cute as kind of like giveaways for trick-or-treaters. Again, some eyeballs. I'm going to use those for package toppers. The bat rings. I'm going to use those again for package toppers. I just think that it's super cute and it's fun, you know, for the holiday season. Why not? Good stuff. I don't know what I'm doing here. Confused. Uh, I do find this hobbyist scarecrow. Now, he does have that black pom-pom. There is like a little battery-operated push sound on there uh, the battery is dead um, you know what you do is you just rip off this pom-pom and re-glue it by changing out the battery there you can kind of see it's peeking out so it's an easy fix um, and he's absolutely adorable so yeah we're definitely going to go ahead and get him I'm trying to get some of that fuzz off the pom-pom there uh, no chips or cracks on him he's charming and cute I did find I didn't I didn't want those. I don't know how they made it, but these are like little gift boxes or treat boxes, and it's kind of like paper craft. So you know, you just simply punch all those out, fold everything all together, and uh, you can use them as little gift bags. And there are fourteen of them. Uh, originally retailed for sixteen ninety nine. I was going to get these. I ultimately did put them back um, because it was just like Michael, stop, just calm down. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we're back to rooting and digging here. Like I said, a lot of the stuff that I was finding was buried. So we're definitely going to take our time and root through here. Uh, I did see this little, little figurine here, this scarecrow jack-o'-lantern. He's super cute. Um, it is plastic. And then I did see this Frankenstein, like this Fimo clay guy here. Unfortunately, one of his hands was missing. I will say this, for him and that little jack-o'-lantern, I definitely would have picked it up. Um, but unfortunately, Frankenstein, again, his hand was broken, so I do stick him back. Back to Rootman. 
I mean, it, it the shells were just crammed like this. Let's see if we can find anything else. I don't really see a whole lot of anything else. I do see that ceramic, another jack-o'-lantern piece here. Uh, the color palette on this was a little unusual. Stop just trying to escape on me. Bright and cheerful. Oh yeah, that big old chip. That, I just can't get around that. Otherwise, really good condition. Like I said, the paint application, pretty interesting. It's light and it's cheerful, kind of add a bright pop of color. Uh, and maybe some people do prefer to that rather than the traditional, you know, orange, blacks, the reds, purples, greens. Mm, I don't see anything else on that shelf. We'll jump down here. Mm. Again, a lot of hobbyist, crafty stuff. No, we definitely do not want those. Yeah, I want people to come back and they don't I don't want them to open a box and have little foil glitter leaves fall all over. <laughs> Surprise, you have a mess to clean up. Thank you for your <laughs> thank you for your purchase. So we do have some uh, little window decals there. I did set that back in there. But none of them were really interesting and not for me to want wanting okay. to pick up. Just gonna mm, back to root in here. Saw the little coffin. Almost looks like an outhouse, though, doesn't it? With that, that uh, rectangular shape. Oh, excuse me, jeez. Uh, 99 cents. No, not so much. We're, I'm going to leave that there now. A lot of costume <clears throat> items. And you saw that stuff earlier. Here we have some costume patterns. Really got to get in here and root, i got to say. Some Ziploc baggies. Oh, there's some more eyes. I definitely am going to pick those ones up and, again, use those as package shoppers. The bag was split, um, and I wanted to make sure I got all of the eyeballs out of there that I possibly could. I did get 12. So. And a little baggie of plastic skulls. Again, just cute little package toppers. Um, this would be great for trick-or-treaters. Again, if you're shopping on a budget, there you go. These are actually from Kmart. Uh, at $1.50, you get three inflatable ghosts. They are obviously new old stock. There you're seeing a little Kmart thing. They're so cute. Great little sense of whimsy. If you have kids or grandkids, you don't want to keep it too scary for them. Alrighty, guys. We filled our cart with Halloween and harvest items. I'm really pleased with the things that we got. Um, I think we got some beautiful things. You know what? We'll wrap it up outside. You know what? On second thought, I decided to go ahead and add in some additional footage to our last Shop With Me video at, well, not last Shop With Me, our last, wherever we were, where were we? We were at Goodwill. I decided to go ahead and add in some footage here from American Rescue Workers. It is a small store, so I don't know what we're going to find. You saw the jack-o'-lantern there in the window. We'll see if these for sale. Maybe they'll have some other Halloween. Let's check it out. It's in the window. I bet you I can't buy it because they like to be cruel like that. They'll be like, you can't buy anything in the window until such and such date. Well, then I'll put it in the window. <laughs> like I said, it's small, so. so oh, they do have some fall Halloween, but. Yeah, of course, that, that blow mold uh, jack lantern is not for sale. So, again, we are at American Rescue Workers. Very pleased to see that they've got a Halloween slash harvest set up here. Um, we've got a lot of scarecrows here. There was a run on scarecrows apparently, but none that I was really interested in. Have a little plush witch here. She's cute. Um, I actually did sell a smaller one. It was, I forget the name of the company. It, it, it was similar to this piece. She's $5. It's cute, but I'm just like, I just sold one of them. I don't want to get another one. <laughs> This cute little like uh, synthetic chenille purple cat. Again, it's cute. Um, it's not, what is it, Conrad Creations. I did run a comp on it. They go for about $10, so I am going to leave that one behind. Interesting little ceramic pumpkin. I don't really like the face on that one. It's not doing anything for me. It's not dynamic enough. It's a million dollar beanie baby. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> She's cute, contemporary little piece made in China. There's nothing wrong with that. I think it's aesthetically really cute and charming, but I want to try to keep it as vintage as possible. We did get a lot of more contemporary items from Goodwill after all. This is really interesting. It is a light up and it's got this weird like cotton batting to it. It is Trend Masters. It's from 1997 and it does have a light kit. It does work. Uh, I did have to replace the bulb, but the, 
the cord's in really good condition. And at $5, we're going to pick that up. I saw this little witch hanging here. It's absolutely adorable. It's called Seasons by Nicole. I did run some comps on it. I did not see this particular item. Uh, it is from 2015, so it is more contemporary. At five bucks, I mean, she's so charming. It's lightweight. Um, there's little, like, look at, wait, we're going to get in here. And those are original to the piece there. Just kind of like, it's just old school. I love the charming little touches that they added to her. Um, she's whimsical. Styrofoam head here, wrapped, of course, in fabric and her little felt hat. I just, I really like her. I think she's, she's really cute. So we are going to go ahead and get her today. Now, if you recognize this, we just got the House of Void. It was that three piece set with the turkey. Well, technically, I guess four since we got the candles. I wanted to see how much they were charging for these. A dollar fifty for each. That was three dollars. We got the whole set for three dollars. Plus it was yeah. in its original box. I'm right here. So we're here scoping other things out, seeing if we can't find anything else. Maybe that's tucked away on the shelves here. Um, yeah, pretty typical kind of thrift store finds here. A lot of the poly resin statues, the teddy bears. Thought, well, mm, yeah, no, we're not gonna, we're not gonna get into that. <laughs> but again, I know that some people may be actively collecting or they have an extensive collection. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm just kind of, it's not the vibe that I'm going for. Mm, a little ceramic Christmas tree. Oh my gosh. I have nowhere to put it. I, this, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is a Kmar rocking chair. It is from the 1930s. There is signs of wear. It's $24. That is the original upholstery to it. And it does, of course, have its sleeves. Um, there is a little bit of wear to the upholstery. I do, I'm not mad at the wear to the goose neck or the swan neck. It shows somebody getting up and down in the chair and I had to feature it. Um, yeah. Again, it's just kind of standard fare. We do have a little coral here and the butterfly gold or the harvest gold. Um, not really, you know, what I'm looking for to sell, especially those saucers. They're just not a very practical piece. I do love picking up some of the larger, like the mixing bowls with the casserole dishes, the fridges, the pitchers. Things of that nature, I'll definitely snag those. Now we do see this whole mixing bowl here. Uh, very feminine, very bright and springy. There is a pretty substantial uh, craze line. They have it at $16. Now I'm not seeing any chips to it or cracks per se. However, that craze is pretty deep down in there and that looks like it's just a, a crack waiting to happen. So at $16, I do put that one behind gonna check out some other stuff but I don't see anything I had to go back to this chair I wanted to inspect underneath it look at how clean that it is it's obvious that it was taken care of again we're seeing some wear to the wood but at nearly a hundred years old can you really blame it springs are good overall it, it's just in really good condition we do see some wear here towards where your your legs would sit but I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. It's $24. It's about a $600 chair. I have nowhere to put it. I'm just sick to my stomach. Alrighty, guys. The last item that we found. Yup. You guys, I apologize. I did not do an outro, so I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it up here. And until next time, guys, remember, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty.